SIPOC. SIPOC stands for Suppliers, Inputs, Processes, Outputs, Customers. In the define phase, we use the SIPOC diagram to identify the different parts of our process, from contributors, suppliers, input, all the way to the customer, output. Who supplies the process inputs? What inputs are required? What are the major steps in this process? What are the process outputs? Who receives the outputs? We rely on the SIPOC to create, monitor, and improve closed loop business systems for process management, improvement, or design, redesign. The idea is that any changes in the SIPOC is likely to change other elements. Any change in the process output, O, will be related to changes in supplier inputs or process actions, SIPs. If all SIPs are stable, the output O will be stable. A change in O means one or more of the SIPs must have changed. Apparent violations of this rule indicate that the process model is incomplete, and SIP or O parameter is missing, an opportunity to build organization wisdom. If one or more SIPs change significantly, the O's may or may not change. If the O's change, the SIP changes may be used to predict and control the changes in the O's. If the O's do not change, the SIPs being changed are robust and may provide process savings opportunities. Closed loop relationships between SIPs and O's provide a method to define process correlations and cause-effect relationships.